So what we're doing is, this is just some data from, I think, question seven from memory um, in, your, in your textbook. I've just put in the random data, the number of days. Remember, that goes on our x-axis all the time. Anything that's got to do with time goes on the x-axis. And whatever else the, the y-axis has, I've just called our data y-axis for the purpose of this ex um, example. But it can be, I don't know, number of school days missed or whatever. So when we're doing the three mean, let's have a look at the mean smoothing first. Um, our three mean smoothing, you obviously need to give your column a name. Um, I've called it three mean so I know where, what it is. When we're doing the three mean smoothing, we always leave the first row blank. If you have a look at some of the tables early on in 6b, they show you they put in a little dash to show leave this box blank. Okay, So we leave that first box blank and we start writing our formulas in the second row. So remember we're doing a three mean smoothing for this one. Okay, So our formula always begins with an equals, just like in Excel, same sort of stuff, equals. And because I'm doing a mean smoothing, I type in the word mean and I open up some brackets. Okay, Now in here, inside the brackets, I need to select the cells that I want the CAS to find the average for. I only have to do this once and then I can copy the formula down. We'll get to that in a sec. So using my little trackpad, the trackpad on your CAS, I go up and select the first cell and it brings up that dotted box around it. And using the shift and down arrow, you select the first three. Okay. What would I do if, I, if I'm doing a five mean smoothing? Select the first five and I go down until I select the first five. Okay, so I select the first three, I hit enter once and it says, are you sure you want to find the average for B1 to B3? I say absolutely and I hit enter again. So there's my average, my, my mean for the first three values in my second column. Okay, I can repeat that again, I can type in equals mean, open up a bracket and select the next three. I can do the exact same thing and I can keep going until I get all the way to the bottom. But an easy way to do it is, yep, is to simply copy the formula above and drag it down. Okay. So if we have a look at the bottom here, it tells me what the formula is that I've entered into my cell. It says equals mean B1 to B3. So it's found the average for B1 all the way down to B3. If I use my trackpad again and I go to the bottom right hand side of the cell, you can see it turns into a white plus. So arrow, white plus. Now this is a little bit tricky, I want you to do this to practice and get the hang of it and it's a bit different the way I do it on the computer but you need to press down on your trackpad in the middle and drag down in one swift motion and you'll see that box come up again. Okay, So you're pressing down, press in the center of your trackpad and drag it down at the same time. Okay, It can get a little bit um, difficult to do, it can be a little bit difficult but you need to practice. So what I do is I simply click and drag and keep dragging down until I get to the very end. Do I include the last row? No. no. We leave the first row and the last row empty. And I let go and you can see all the numbers come up. Okay. I want you to check each time. Just go to a random cell and make sure that it's finding the right numbers. So for example, in this cell, we've got the average for B8 to B10. So B8, 9 and 10. That's the 10th row. Okay. So just check that it's actually copied it in for you. And you're leaving the last one blank, the first one blank. And I can put this on a scatter plot. How do I do that? What do I do? Yeah. What goes on my x-axis always? Something that's got to do with time, days, months, years, decades, whatever. And on my y-axis, I'm going to put in the y-axis data first. Yeah. Okay. How do I connect my data points? Shift and, I'm oh, sorry, not shift, control and menu. Of course, it doesn't work. There we go. So we have control and menu, and you can connect your data points like that. And now I want to add my three mean smoothing. How do I do that? Menu, plot properties, add y variable. And in here, it tells me which one, what variable do you want to add? I haven't got anything in the five mean column yet, it's all blank, but I want to add my three mean smoothing. And there they are. Okay. So going back to my table to do the five mean smoothing, 
I do the exact same thing, except I leave how many rows blank at the top? Two of them blank. And I go to my third row, I hit equals, mean, type in the bracket, put in the bracket, and I select the first what? Five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. I hit enter twice, and it gives me my answer. Whether it's a fraction or a decimal, it doesn't matter for now. And then I can fill the blanks down the bottom, click and drag until I get to the bottom. Do I include the last row, the tenth row? Do I include the ninth row? No. I leave the first two and the last two blank, and there are my averages again. Okay? So you can see in a couple of seconds I've worked out all those means. I can go back to my scatter plot, or my time series plot, and I can add that on there as well. Menu, plot properties, add Y variable, and now I can add my five means on there as well. And you can see it changes colors, you've got different shapes to show you, you've got the key on the side, and you're done. Okay? The same method I can use to do a median smoothing. So what we've done up to this point is a mean smoothing. We can do the same thing with a median smoothing. We can do three median smoothing, for example. So I give my column a name. Because I'm doing a three median smoothing, how many do I leave blank at the top? One of them. So just the first one I, I leave blank. What formula do I type in equals what? Median because I'm finding the median here, yeah? So before I typed in mean, because I was doing the mean smoothing, but now I'm doing median, so I type in equals, then the word median, open a bracket, and I'm selecting the first how many boxes in the Y axis box? The first three, because I'm doing a three median smoothing. So one, two, three. I hit enter, and there's the median for the first three numbers. Okay, then I can go over and select that and drag it down and I leave, I leave the 10th row blank. So that's the 10th row here, I leave that blank. And there's my three median smoothing for all of them. Okay, and what would I do for a five median really quickly? How many do I leave blank at the top for a five median? First two I leave blank, I go down to my third row, I type in equals and what word? Median, I open a bracket, so I select the first five dots. I mean, I've got four, five. I hit enter, and there's the median for the first five numbers. Same thing again, click and drag, and I leave the bottom two empty this time. Oop. Bottom two empty, and I've got my five median numbers there. If I go to my graph, I can then put that on there as well. It's going to look quite messy, but I've got all my, my medians on here. I can put them on. It brings up even more colors, and it looks even more fancier.